God, does that hurt? Uh, it probably looks worse than it feels. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I'm sorry, Emily. Why are you apologizing to me? He's the one you hit. We had a disagreement. Yeah, well, all I saw was you hitting him. It's okay. You know what, AJ? It's not okay. I know it's even worse when you pretend that things are okay and you know that they're not. Dad, you're an addict. You hate your son. That's enough out of you, young lady. Watch it. Look, you want to beat up on me, Ned, or even Grandfather, you take your best shot. But you do not abuse Emily. What are you talking about abuse? I've never touched her. I wouldn't have touched you if you hadn't pushed me so hard. How'd I push you? By telling you the truth, you need help. And he's going to get it. Hello, Helen. Did you miss me while I was in London? Did he do that? He hit AJ. Well, that's a first, Alan. Actual physical abuse instead of just simple neglect. Look, Emily, uh, would you wait up in your room for just a little bit? I'll, I'll be up. I, I need to uh, explain some things to you. Like what? The dad's an addict? I already know that. Ned told me. I wish you had. I was trying to protect you, Emily. I know. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay at Jason's tonight. He doesn't protect me. He just tells me the truth. Oh, um... I think Dad has some pills in his pocket, but he wouldn't show me. Emily, wait up. Well, congratulations, Alan. You've managed to alienate two of your children and beat up a third. Well, tell me, do you have something planned for an encore? Jason, your sister's here. Hey, Em. I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. No, it's okay. Um, I, I was going to call you, but I didn't think you were going to have anybody over. You normally don't. Um, I can uh, ask Ronaldo for a ride home, or I can go upstairs or something. I just need to talk to you. What, what happened? Dad hit AJ. I trust that A.J. will recover from his injuries. Are you that far gone? You hit your son. He's a grown man, not a three-year-old. Oh, I see. There is an age where child abuse is permissible. Look, we got into a fight. I hit him. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. Can we leave it at that instead of adding it to your endless list of grievances against me? This is not about you against me, Alan. This is about you against your life. You are destroying everything you value. Your relationship with your children, your professional standing. That was totally intact until you sabotaged me by going to London in my place. I was trying to cover for you, which is exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow at the hospital. That won't be necessary. I'm going back to work. <laughs> you, out of your mind, you are an addict. You cannot be trusted shuffling papers, let alone diagnosing patients. I had an attack of flu at the nurse's ball. My family convinced me to take a couple of weeks to recover. I have done that. I'm fine now. I'm going back to work and nothing can stop me. Well, I already have. I called Stephen Cassidine when I was in London. I told him that you were under a great deal of physical and emotional stress. He met with the board. They agreed to give you a leave of absence. So tomorrow, I start as chief of staff. Did you plan this, Monica? Or are you simply taking advantage of the situation? I mean, turning my family against me is about par for the course for you. You have done it more times than I can remember, but sabotaging my career? You have an illness. Addiction is a disease, Alan. When I had cancer, I took a leave of absence to heal. You have to do the same thing. Don't dress it up in hearts and flowers, please. Oh. Since the first day I met you, you were clawing your way to the top, and you finally made it over my back. You are taking hydromorphone that you buy on the street, Alan. You collapsed in public. You've hit one of your children. Aren't you willing to concede that you might just possibly have a problem? I'm in pain. My hand hurts. And since my family has appointed themselves my jailer and taken away my professional standing, the only place I can get medication is to buy it on the street. Uh, if that's a problem for you, you can blame yourself. When have you ever been 
on my side. In all the years we've been married, when have you ever taken care of me? It was always your cancer, your sexual harassment trial, your endless parade of lovers. When was I ever a priority? When was I ever anything but the man who paid the bills? Right now, Alan. Right now. I mean, you're out of control. You're doing your best to destroy everything in sight, especially me. Look, if it is paybacks that you wanted, you got it in spades. But I'm still here. And I love you. I want to help you, Alan, but you have got to help yourself. At least you've got to try. I don't need help. I'm not an addict. I don't need rehab. If the pain medication that I take is offensive to you and the rest of the family, I'll do without it. I've done that before. Insofar as my job is concerned, I predict that you'll be giving it back to me within a month. You're a surgeon, Monica, not an administrator. There isn't enough limelight in the chief of staff's position to satisfy your monumental ego. So you enjoy your triumph. And when you're ready to step down, call me. Are you okay? How much did you hear? Enough. The uh, terrace has got great eavesdropping acoustics. When we were little, Jason and I used to sit out there and listen to you and Dad fight all the time. Yeah, so uh, on a scale of one to ten, how does this one rate? It doesn't. You're not fighting with Dad. You're fighting an addict. And addicts are scared all the time, and that makes them cruel. I just wish that he would let me help him. I do too. Hey, did Michael finish his bottle? Uh, yeah, Robin's giving him the rest. He's getting sleepy now. Yeah, he'll probably wake up again around 11. I'll give him another one then, while we look out the window. What are you reading? A book on the Caribbean. I got it from Michael. It's mostly about the islands, but there's a chapter on New Orleans. Have you ever been there? Once. It was sunny for a meeting. I didn't get to, I didn't get to see a lot of the city. Yeah, I don't think I will either when I go there. I mean, I don't think they give you much time at those photo shoots. Actually, I'm making that up. I, I don't really know what models do. I guess you'll find out. You think it's stupid, don't you? No, not if you want it. Yeah, but you wouldn't do it. Well, I'd never try a lot of things. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try them. Yeah. Dad hates the idea. I mean, he doesn't want me to be a model at all. Um, you know that he's on painkillers, Jason. He's addicted. I know. I was over there the other day, fighting with the old man, and Alan was stoned out of his mind. That's why I asked Reginald to tell you to call me as soon as you got back. I wanted to tell you about Alan and warn you not to get in the car with him. I already did. And we were in an accident, but don't worry, I mean, I just hurt my neck for a couple of days and then it was fine. What happened? Um, he hit a tree. But Jason, the family can't know or it's going to make things even worse. I can't tell them, do you understand? Okay. And you won't? No, not if you don't want me to. 
Do not ever get in the car with him again. Okay? Okay. Now, if you have trouble at home, you know you can call me and you can stay here as long as you want to. I know. You know, I was thinking on the way over here how terrible it would be if I had no place to go. But I do. I love you, Jason.